video today that I am very excited about. I got Halloween candy. Lots of it. And I have my favorite co-star, my son. See, you're not just whatever I called you the last time. I don't even know. You're your passenger. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite co-star, my son. So we're going to be trying... <laughs> we're going to be trying some new Halloween candies. Get into trying some of them. Uh, most of these candies are either 2022 releases, new to us, or like one is a classic. Not sure if he likes it, but I wanted him to try it on camera anyway. I'm weird. I like pumpkin spice and things like that. So we get to try one. It's, don't worry, it's not pumpkin spice. So we're going to get right into it. First candy is. Some of them are sour, some of them are fine, um, and they come a variety of different colors of flavors. Oh, well, we love for colors too, but flavors. So the flavors are shopping lime, bluish green apple, rattle raspberry, citrus spring, and spine tingling tangerine. So we're gonna get one of each. We're gonna get one of each. For seeds to only have three. Well, I just barely squeaked out myself. Okay. Mine too. Mm. Very sour. 
Mmm. Shocking wine. Great name for it. So, with these, you can get some that are like sour, like the ones we just got, and then some that are just like regularly flavored lime ones, which I usually very much enjoy lime Skittles. But that being lime and sour together was like very sour. So, what are you, two for five now on the sours? Yeah. And then this is tangerine. What is it called? <laughs> I just keep saying, what is it called? Are you new here? Spine tingling tangerine. Mine was, the you know, flavor is delicious, but I mean, you have to eat to get another sour. Until I get another sour? Yeah, because I had two. Okay, I'll be fair. Is it sour? Mm hmm. Immediately. Okay. And it was lime. Next candy up, we have Dove Pumpkins. And I'm gonna tell you from the look of it, the packaging, this is just a lazy concept on Dove's part. Cause it's just milk chocolate. It's not pumpkin spice flavored. Okay, Dove, you need to step it up. But it's just plain. Like, are you in here? But and there's a pumpkin on the outside of the package because some people are going to say, Oh, that's so cute. But it's not. It's lazy. And I'm calling you out for saying it's cute. It's lazy. But Dove always has fun stuff to read on the inside of the wrapper. What is yours? For now, falling leaves. Soon, falling snow. <laughs> ready to get rid of fall already. See, it's just like a plain Dove chocolate. Like, what was that? Mm -hmm. It was a plain Dove chocolate. It was a plain Dove chocolate, though. And mine says, never be too old for jumping in leaves. What if your knees are? What if you two limbs pass a hip replacement? Mm -hmm. You think that's great advice though? My advice to you is to make this pumpkin spice chocolate next year. Maybe some pumpkin shaped dove candy. Maybe both. We're gonna move on to the next candy. This is Brock's Mellow Cream Caramel Apple. I already don't think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> I don't like this type of candy. You have a green one, I wanna get a red one. Toast. So, it's caramel on the back, clearly. An apple to the front end. Let's see what it's like. So behind yeah. chocolate, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Still bites it. How was the red one? Red one's pretty good. Green apple one's like kind of green apple flavor, you know, sourish. Wait. Wait. So a red apple one? Kind of tastes like a red candied apple with caramel on the back. Let me see what it is. Does the green one taste the same? It does not. It tastes like a Granny Smith apple. Yeah. Um, 
with the caramel on the back. I can tell you right now, it's got the consistency of candy corn. I like candy corn. I love candy corn. I love the colors. Um, that has the consistency of candy corn. With like an apple flavor and then it's sweet. I think if I had not eaten the chocolate before eating that one, I probably would really love that. Because again, I like candy corn. If you like apple flavored stuff and candy corn, you're gonna love that one. What would you rate that one? Uh, out of 10, probably a six. Okay. It's and candy bad. corn, a classic. Like this is the classic one I wanted him to try. He okay. hasn't had candy corn since he was little. I've had candy corn since then. You have? Yeah. You like it? It's all right. Great. Just like I remember. Classic candy corn. You can't go wrong with candy corn. I'm like putting my trash in the bag already. So I'm thinking my mom that I think it's up. What do the overall ratings of candy? Okay. And the last candy that we're gonna try, well, it's not the last one. There's actually three candies in this bag. But the last one that I'm gonna open as a package is the ghoulish green mix from I almost gave away my age, y'all. This is a Mark's Wrigley confection area. Confectionery company. I almost said Malloway and Mars. Do y'all know how long Malloway and Mars have not existed? Do you even know what Malloway is? No. Okay. So I am your elder. I'm a millennial elder. Look it up. Um, so in this mix, I have these fun green things. We're gonna start with the most boring of the mix. I know some people probably are Eminem fans, and they love it. But it is the Gold Mix Eminems. What makes some Gold Mix is just simply the colors are really fun. Which I've seen quite a bit of. He has a green kind of yellow. I have a orange one. I've seen you. I haven't had m and in such a long time. I know. Oh my god, I'm shaking them everywhere. And I just throw them down. Don't worry, I have a trash bag down there. I'm going to clean up. There's this cute purple one. Did I call it cute? Yes, I did. I like this color purple. Um, so they come in green, purple, and orange. And I have seen quite a bit of TikToks and reels on Instagram where people are like filling up jars as centerpieces with candy, real candy in it. I mean, this would be really cute, although very expensive. But listen, the people I see on Instagram and TikTok making these kind of pieces with the beer candy must have the dollar dollar bills because in a way you might have some candy in September as a centerpiece. And I'm throw it away after October 31st. We're going to eat the candy. Let's not waste the house, y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I can't go for that. But, I mean, it's a classic and it was pretty good. The next one, I've already handed him his, is a ghoulish green Snickers. I don't like Snickers. I really like Snickers. But I'm gonna try it for the culture. <laughs> it's green on the inside. I'm 
some one of those people that laughs when they're trying something they don't like, or they're afraid. Again. Did you take like a fruity hint from that? Okay, I saw it. I'm gonna complete my statement. I was gonna say again, I think if I had not eaten the candy apple thingy, the caramel apple thing, maybe that would have been a better experience because it tastes like a classic Snicker. But he said he had a fruity hint to it too. Yeah. So maybe the green color was like a natural color. Going for classic snicker, but they put like a natural kind of coloring in it. That's almost like a matcha kind of flavor. person, you might not be a Snickers person, but I know somebody that loves Snickers and I like it. Oh look, description. Same great taste as Snickers bars, Twix cookie bars, and M&M's chocolate candies. But they're just green. I saw these on Instagram, and I was like, gotta have it. So, We're gonna rate these. M&M's. They're just M&M's. They are just M&M's, which normally for me, M&M's fall somewhere around a six, six and a half, especially just the plain M&M's. But because they come in these very cute colors, I'm gonna give it a solid six and a half. I'm just gonna say at a six and a half for some M&M's. Okay. Normally, uh, you know, depending on the day of the week, it might be a six, it might be a six and a half, but I'm gonna give them a solid six and a half and tell them that even if I was feeling like a six, just the color itself would probably make me reach for a bag. Rating on the Twix. I don't like Twix. Two out of 10. Okay, so I like Twix. It didn't alter the taste. I like the greenness. Normally for me, Twix, Twix, Twix is like a seven out of 10. So I'll give them a seven and a half. The green color is really fun for Halloween. Snickers? I like Snickers though. That's an eight. Okay, I don't like Snickers. But the green makes me say, eh, maybe I'll like put it in something. So maybe a three and a half out of 10 for the Snickers for me. Candy corn. Should you rate on candy corn? I mean, it's just a classic Halloween candy. It's not Halloween unless you get candy corn. Or you know someone that eats candy corn. Or you know someone that says, no way in Mars and likes candy corn like me. Uh, six out of 10. Candy corn's okay. Candy corn for me is probably about the six out of 10 too, for the flavor and everything. But I just like that I could just get it around this time of the year. And it's fun. And it has a great smell. So I have a candy corn Halloween candy scented candle on the website, www.flirtofs.com. I think this is your second time in this video. It is. And I'm going to keep plugging it because I am my biggest marketer. Duh. Okay, the Brock's Caramel Apple. I don't like that type of candy. The flavor wasn't bad though, so I'll give it a four. Okay, just based off the smell. Based off the smell alone? Yeah. Um, I'll give it a five, six. Okay, so these smell amazing. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Um, 
but maybe they have like so you know sugar is like more addictive than crack but very sweet like my stomach hurts from eating all these sweets but I still reached in the bag to grab one of these I like the texture it's a big chunk of candy so just one of these and you should be like your sweet tooth should be satisfied I think I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10 that's higher than I expected I mean it smell good you like them better than the candy corn? I do. Hmm. It might be the apple -y taste. I'll just keep eating them. Is it crack? And one, wait, two things left to it. Mm -hmm. Dove pumpkins. I I'm only giving them one out of ten. It's very lazy. It's just dark chocolate. So, on the ooh, I want some chocolate kind of spectrum. I'll probably normally rate Dove pretty high. Like a seven, maybe a seven and a half out of ten. That was my favorite chocolate, but this is just lazy. This is really lazy. Like, because a teacher you was getting D for effort. Only because you wrap the things in a pumpkin thing and put a fall thing in. I couldn't completely fail you. So on that note, I'm going to rate these two out of ten. And the Skittles Shriekers. We rate these. Skittles are my all-time favorite candy. I got to give them an eight out of ten. Okay, so... A few takeaway points on the Skittles before I give you my rating. A, they did not make me choose between lime and green apple. So you get bonus points for that excuse. Um, also, there's like sour ones thrown in the mix and you don't know. So the anticipation is great. And then the other bonus points you get is that you completely abandoned the zombie Skittle idea. That was a terrible idea. It was nasty. Those were butt awful. And knowing that you can flop so terribly, I'm going to rate these a 9 out of 10. These are amazing. Um, but again, if you come back with zombie Skittles, this 9 out of 10 is going to be a 0. And Skittles might get banned in the United States. Because, like I said, those were butt awful. Do you hear me, Skittles people? Who makes Skittles? Mars Wrigley Confectionery. I gave Mars Wrigley Confectionery a lot of money today, apparently. But that is our take on the Halloween candy. Unfortunately, the Walmart that I did my order from did not have the, um, I think it's marshmallow cream flavored green Kit Kats. But if you follow me on TikTok, I will link it in the description box below or Instagram. I'll load it as a reel as well. I will try those there on my social media once they do arrive they did give me an option to have it delivered so i will get those and then also they did not have the halloween sour punch straws we're going to be doing a sour day during the 31 days of halloween again every year i love halloween so i do 31 days of activities i will include those in the 31 days of halloween i will save it just for that so hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification button and check that video out when it comes out during the Halloween season. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you were able to get some takeaways to order you some Halloween candy or either you or even some trick-or-treaters you can get. And that's it for the video though. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.